Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have created a database called company with table called employee. This table has three columns, which are ID, name, and salary. Now we are going to talk about how can we create a PHP file to insert data inside this table. So I'm going to use the NetBeans. You can use any application but I'm going to use the NetBeans. So it takes some time for the first time. Now, to create a new project using the NetBeans, just go to the file menu, select new project, here, I'm going to select PHP and from the right side, I'm going to select PHP application. Then next, what's the application name? For example, company web. But where should you put this folder? This folder should put inside the C164 and www. This folder will be created by default when you install the WAM server. So I'm going to select this folder, C164, www. And after that, I will add, copy paste, the website name. Then click Finish. OK. Now, after I've created my website, if I go here, I will see something called company web. I have something called company web. Right inside company web, there is a folder called source file. Right click on this folder, select new PHP file. And for example, I will call this file add underscore EMP, add employee, then finish. Yes, now let's start. What are the PHP code used to insert data to the table? In PHP, there is four steps to insert data uh, using PHP language to my SQL database, okay? Remember that the database name is called company and the table name is called EMP and this table has three columns which are ID, name and salaries. The first step is called connection. How can you connect to your database? So just define variable using PHP con equal new MySQL I. Then you should pass four parameters. The first one is the server name. My server is localhost because I'm going to work on this server locally. Then the username is root remember in the previous video when i tried to connect to mysql it asked about username and password the username or the default username for mysql is root what about the password it is by default empty string and the database name is company so this is the first step okay this is the first step to connect to uh, mysql database using the php look here each variable in PHP start with the dollar sign. The second step, statement, con, prepare. This sentence is used to write the SQL statement like insert, update, delete, or select. If you don't have any idea about SQL statement, you can return to my channel on the YouTube, which is Adam IT Tube. Okay, in this channel, I have a list of videos about how can we use SQL statement like select, insert, update, and delete. Anyway, in this example, I'm going to insert data inside my table. So I will write insert into EMP. Insert into EMP. EMP is the table name. So what are the values? Values 1 two, three, three question mark, which means 
I have three columns and I want to add three values to dot three columns. So these three columns or three question mark define the ID, name, and mark. The third step, statement variable st using the bind param function. In the bind param function, you have two main roles. The first one, what are the data type of the columns? So I'm going to write I, S, I, which means integer for ID, string for name, and also integer for salary, because I have three columns, integer, string, and integer. This is the first thing. The second thing, how can the user insert data inside those variables? I'm going to use get. ID then get for example name then get salary this means the user will enter three values which are ID name and salary using the URL of this page I will see you how can we implement this example? The last thing is statement execute, which means execute all these steps. So these four lines, which are here from connection to execute, are used to write data inside the table. It is the same code if it is insert, update, or delete. Okay, so the first line is for connection to database which consists of four parameters, the server, which is localhost, username, root, password, empty string, and the database name, which is Kanban. The second step is the skill statement, which is insert in this example. The third step is the parameter, which is definition for the question mark. Here I have three question marks, which is ISI, integer string and integer, and here the name of those variables, ID, name, and salary. And the last step is the execute. How can we try this example? Right click and select run file. Oh, okay, but um, let me change the browser to Chrome. For example, yes, here, Google Chrome. Right click, run file. You should pass three values. How can we pass those three values? Question mark ID equal 1003 and name equal Ahmed and salary equal 1500. Let's press enter. Okay, if we go to the table, EMP, yes, as you see here, 1003, Ahmed, 1500. So in this video, we have seen how can we create PHP file to insert data inside the table. The steps are similar if it is update or delete. See you next video.